the overarching issue I think that DOJ has with some of the oversight that NAR has in the real estate industry, their position is to give consumers more transparency into the process. Specifically, what we're talking about today is buyer broker compensation, which is between NAR and, uh, and DOJ. And now there's a new lawsuit between PLS <clears throat> and DOJ. But let's first give the people some context, all right? So when it comes to buyer broker compensation, the, the issue I think that the DOJ has is they are taking the position that buyer agent, uh, the issue that they have with buyer agency is when an agent or a broker says to a consumer, hey, my services are free. Their position is that it's not free, that they're getting compensated 3% and that that should be disclosed to the buyer. Now, a couple things there for me and this is what we're talking about uh, you know, before we, we turn the cameras on. The issue that I have with that is the commission is between the seller and the listing broker negotiated by the listing agent. That's right. So the seller is saying, here's X amount of commission. I agree to pay XYZ listing broker X commission. Do with it what you need to do to get my property sold. Right. To your point earlier, we don't know who the buyer is. We right. don't know how the buyer is going to come to fruition. We don't know if there's going to be a buyer uh, agent. We don't know if the listing agent is going to find the buyer. We don't know if the seller is going to find the buyer. Right. So there's, it's almost at that point, there is no victim that they're protecting, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Because we don't know who this individual, or whether they'll sell the house, period. Yeah. We don't even know if it'll get sold at that point. Yeah. So my position on that, I guess my the thing that I ask myself, you know, when I say, okay, DOJ, what are we trying to... What are you trying to protect? What's their goal? What's their goal? What's the issue? Because we're talking about commission negotiated by the listing agent between seller and, buyer and, and listing broker. Right. And so, you know, there's not an agreement. And if, if you're watching this and you're not a real estate agent, I'm going to give you some context around what I mean. And that is, there's not a conversation to your point with uh, a listing agent and the seller around potentially, like, we don't know how the buyer's gonna uh, uh, be procured, right? Right. We have no idea, we have no clue. It's up to the listing agent, the listing broker, to co-op with other agents, right? That's where that commission comes in. It's never a, a conversation up front to say, okay, here's the buyer agent commission, Here's the listing agent commission. Right. It's one commission. That buyer broker then offers a piece of that commission to the other agents in the marketplace to show their listing, to bring a buyer. Bring me your buyers and I'll split this commission with you. That's right. Right. And I think, you know, when it comes to, I think context matters. Absolutely. I think because, and I really want your opinion on this, I think because it's so common practice that there are two agents involved that the DOJ is assuming that they're colluding. Tell me about that. Well, the, they mentioned the word, word collusion uh, in the marketplace over and over in all these articles that we've looked through before this you know, conversation. Mm -hmm. So it, it's one of those words that it's a negative connotation because it insinuates that there's something nefarious going on, right? Something bad. Someone's lurking around and, and you know, plotting to exploit the consumer, right? But in my mind, collusion, it, it's not a negative or positive word. It's just... What happens? Like we're colluding right now to make this video. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. And because I was going to, I just, the part that confuses me about this, like deals. Very confusing. It's very confusing because here's the most confusing part for me is that when, when the commissions are agreed upon, like when the seller says to the listing agent, yes, I agree to pay you 5%. I agree to pay you 6%. I agree to pay you 7%. There's never a distinction of how that home is going to be sold. And I think the problem is, is this, because it's so common practice that there are two agents in a transaction, and it's so common that the listing broker is co-opting that commission with a buyer's agent, right. that DOJ is taking the assumption, it seems like, that there's an agreed upon uh, uh, compensation between seller and buyer broker. Mm -hmm. If that was the case, I could say, absolutely. You absolutely need to disclose that to a buyer for sure. agent. For sure. That's not what's happening. Right. In the real world of selling real estate, 
the listing agent, the, the, the seller has no clue how the buyer is going to come to fruition. Therefore, it'd be impossible to say, okay, we're going to pay this buyer agent this, we're going to pay you this. No, it's one set commission right. that's paid to by to the buyer broker of which they use those funds to market and sell the property by any means necessary. Right. They incur costs as well. So yeah. it's, all, it's almost a budget. Here's 6%. You have a budget. Get my house sold for X. That's the minimum I'll take. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't see the, the problem with it like the DOJ does. Yeah. You know, and, and listen, I... You know, when we when I look at to say, okay, what could come of that? It, let's just say because um, if, if that were the case, I could see the. So I think what they want to have happen is that potentially buyers pay buyer agent comp, mm. sellers pay listing agent comp. More like attorneys, where each side pays yeah. their own fees. I can see a world like that. Sure. Outside of the United States. That's what happens a lot of times in these other countries. Mm. So I could see something like that occurring. But if that happens, and I don't know this for sure, I'm not suggesting anything. I'm just trying to, I'm just spitballing. I could see a relationship between seller and listing agent where you, uh, you agree to pay me, let's just say 3%, half the traditional commission. And it's up to a buyer to compensate a buyer's agent if they want to pay that. But if that happens, Bill, I believe the, the consumers just go directly to the listing agent, which be a world I would love. Oh, right. So, right? Yeah. Because the listing but agent- now, now you run into dual agency problems. That's right. Who, who do that's, they represent? Is there a that's conflict? That's true. Yeah. That's a good point. 